hello to all my friends out there and so I decided to do another chatting over tea and what I did is I saved my leftover uh, sweet orange spice tea and this tea is really good you can just uh, refrigerate it and drink it and so I wanted to make mention of something one of the followers has her own channel and I don't know if everyone's heard about it but me, but I just found it. It's called My Frugal Life. And so the minute I found it, of course, I subscribed right away. And so what I was happen I was hoping this would happen. Um, that people would let me know if they had channels, you know, especially connected with um, saving money, uh, living on less money. And so I was really happy. Uh, that was one of the things I was hoping uh, was going to happen. And the other thing I was hoping it was going to happen, and it is happening too, is that I would get a, a bunch of really nice people to follow me, you know, to get really, really nice people all in one spot and just create a really um, awesome consciousness to encourage people. You know, not everybody is a multimillionaire. Okay, so as you know, I sell stuff on eBay. And so, you know, I'm learning the eBay as I go along, but I'm learning about uh, just merchandise and things in general. So I figured for eBay, the best uh, way for me to start was to start in thrift stores. And I found things, I found um, costume jewelry, I found, um, clothes uh, one of the things I found uh, but I didn't bring them with me was coats and so you know um, summer is coming up and that's a good time to buy coats because uh, when it's cold the coats in thrift stores are more expensive so okay I was shopping around in thrift stores and when I was you know um, I wasn't thinking about um, luxury goods as as opposed to necessary or necessity goods and that is very important so like when you're shopping at, in a thrift store that's where you can find uh, necessity goods uh, you know for like the swap meet um, I found that uh, jewelry uh, does sell but uh, what sells better is is clothes and so what made me think about this was today I was shopping for luxury goods and what I was looking for is luxury goods uh, marked down like marked way down uh, you know and I was looking at watches so um, one of the best ways to learn watches is to um, buy them cheap at the thrift stores and make your uh, mistakes there where the stuff is cheap and, and believe me I have bought some uh, crap and then I I will move up to hawk shops and I was in a hawk shop uh, last week you know I was doing the walking the two hours a day and I was in a hawk shop but the problem is with hawk shops you don't know where the stuff comes from you don't know uh, you know I ha I bought some watches and um, the crowns had been removed, you know, and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. And then the other thing I do is discount shopping. You know, um, that purse I bought, uh, it was in one of the last few videos. I bought that at a discount shop, dirt cheap. I mean, they get stuff dirt cheap. Uh, you know, that $88 purse I bought for around $10. Uh, that was a pretty nice purse. And then, you know, there's luxury goods and items. And today, when I was shopping for uh, luxury items, the gal goes, well, we get ours from a vendor in uh, Las Vegas. And I thought, well, why would I pay you when I could just find a vendor in Las Vegas? So, you know, as you're learning, uh, learning about... Um, you know items that you buy all the time that is going to make it possible for you to save money i have good luck at marshall's and ross too so um you know if you think about it okay luxury goods are for people whose income rises 
and there are more people buying at the necessity goods uh, level than the luxury goods level. But at times, if you um, if you shop, they slash luxury goods dirt cheap. You know, if you just happen to be there when they slash it. And, uh, you know, one of the things um, I think that's going to be possible to buy a luxury good at really good prices is the watches. And so, you know, I was uh, doing eBay. And so what I finally came to the conclusion, uh, you know, just don't buy watches uh, if it's not at least a Seiko or a Citizen even the pulsars are pretty cheap and can be had and also for pretty cheap and today i located it in some of the places uh what they do is they have a discounted uh place and and there the stuff is just you know slashed down probably a return or something but it could still be in good shape so when you're shopping around you know be aware of this there's going to be more of this. There's going to be all kinds of this and very little of this at a good price. And, uh, okay, you guys, um, check out My Frugal Life. And I will be showing you the stuff I buy on eBay. And, you know, I, I had to crack up because, you know, I, you know, doing the eBay. I started at the eBay and so, you know, uh, one of the things I was laughing, um, I sold my slave necklaces. <laughs> I mean, it was just crazy. I bought, um, I bought jewelry in bulk and I had these uh, slave necklaces. And the last thing I expected, you know, that they were gonna be successful. So now, you know, I'm, and they are very adorable, really, actually. So I'm shopping around for those, and so, okay, God bless you all.